were quantum beings. Now, I just mentioned that two transverse waves will hit each other, cancel out, and eventually roll around each other and eventually create a, a bubble. And that bubble will then compress further and further until reaching that center point at Planck scale. Planck scale and Planck length are the same general concept. It's all explaining what happens at the smallest scales of our reality before everything breaks down and becomes quantum. This substrate also could be seen as the entry point to different dimensions, how you could travel faster than light, how you can explain telepathy, because these waves move through matter. And in many ways, they are what form matter. Because if you look at something like the atom as looked at by quantum mechanics, the electron is no longer a particle, but a probable point where you could find it if you were to measure the atom at any given point. And the different shells that surround the nucleus of an atom is actually the probability that you're going to find an electron in that region. So the shells that have a higher orbital count are just more densely filled with this longitudinal wave or longitudinal interferometry. It's more likely that if you probe any specific point, you're going to find the energy that we call an electron. This goes further in that our subconscious mind is constantly keyed into this. And it's for this reason that we can get things like tarot cards to reflect the energies around us or any given situation. 